Tika T3 light stainless 300 Winchester short mag. It's a uh, a lot of knockdown power. Just had this muzzle brake put on. And let me tell you, it's awesome. Uh, took about three weeks. It wasn't terribly expensive. Uh, it's cheaper than buying another gun, I can assure you that. Um, but man, it reduced recoil. Been shooting these and they shoot pretty good groups, half inch groups at 100 yards. And then I was told by a hunting guide to try these out. It's Hornady EL DX 200 grains. And let me tell you, they are very accurate. Short mag Tika T3 light that just put a muzzle brake on, and uh, it did change the aim point. So we've made a few adjustments. Uh, the recoil is just un unreal how much it reduced it. Truly impressed. It is not the best day to be shooting. It's very windy coming across. Uh, we'll come back out again and shoot when the wind's not blowing. All right, first shot, second shot, third shot, fourth shot, fifth shot. And that was all with the uh, uh, ballistic silver tips. Came over here and I didn't uh, make any adjustments. First shot, second shot, third shot, and I was aiming right here. So that's not bad considering the wind as well. I'm pleased. I'm not gonna lie. Let's go see what we can shoot some more. light 300 Winchester short mag new muzzle brake which is just flat amazing first and three four shots were low and to the right made some corrections and then trying out the new ELDX 200 grain and they seem to shoot just awesome they're shooting straight grooves see in a second come back out another day when it's not so windy I will shoot some pretty small targets at 100 yards. So this was after I sighted in, and I went here. I was aiming at the square, came down, got it, pulled that shot. I didn't shoot at that one. And uh, so I'm going to guess probably wind drift, but at 100 yards, that's, that's not bad. Last shot was right here. So I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> 